As word that Ebola has now spread to the city of Goma, people are scrambling to protect themselves from the virus. I'm shaken and scared, this man says. That's why I won't stop washing my hands. This outbreak first took hold in more rural parts of eastern Congo. Dozens of new cases reported every day. But now there are worries that this wave of Ebola will intensify as the virus is now present in Goma, a major urban area. Goma is an extremely uh, busy, crowded um, town. It's super difficult to control this. Medical staff have struggled to contain the outbreak in Congo. Not only are some parts of the country remote and hard for health workers to get to, Ebola is spreading in an area consumed by ethnic violence, which has forced hundreds of thousands from their homes. There have been many attacks on medical staff and facilities. Two Ebola prevention workers were killed in the area this week. While the UN and medical NGOs have launched a major emergency response to the outbreak, some say it needs to be broader. Health workers need to be equipped with the capacity and the resources to implement basic infection prevention and control. And that's not happening enough. Medical experts from the World Health Organization gathered in Geneva today, declaring an international public health emergency. What does that mean? This is still a regional emergency and by no way a global threat. The WHO's declaration is meant to focus international attention on the Congo outbreak. It's also a call for more funding from countries around the world so more doctors, nurses and supplies can be sent in. And it comes just as medical workers began vaccinating people, including children, in Goma. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, London.